Hey friends, welcome to Cozy Noah Vibes, where we listen, we relax, and we get sleepy. As always, I'm your host, Noah. Thanks for tuning in. In tonight's relaxing tale, we'll be joining Elena as she embarks on a tranquil sound bath experience. This soothing journey, which is akin to a meditative retreat, takes place in a serene countryside setting in the north of England. It was written by Gemma, and I'll be reading it to you tonight. As a special treat, we've crafted an immersive soundscape to accompany the story, allowing you to deeply relax and drift off with its calming effects. If you haven't already done so, put any physical distractions aside and find a comfortable position that allows you to breathe deeply and slowly. Let your jaw, your shoulders, your legs, and any other areas where tension resides. Gradually relax. Slow your breathing. Drawing in the air and noticing your chest and stomach expand then gently release it back out as your body sinks further into your bed. As you enjoy this feeling of slowing down, imagine that the air you are breathing is enveloping you in a sense of peace and tranquility. With each out breath, let go of any disruptions, be they physical or mental. Bit by bit, your entire being becomes immersed in a peaceful energy. Feel the softness of your pillow supporting your head as you let all the worries and concerns of the day fade away. As you continue to unwind, simply listen to my voice. It's time to begin tonight's story and join Elena in her cozy cottage, where a crackling fireplace is keeping her warm. It's a chilly day in the Lake District in the north of England. This afternoon, Elena is relaxing in her cozy living room, sitting on a pillow white sofa. There isn't much else in this room other than a soft armchair, a bookshelf filled with paperbacks, and a lit greystone fireplace. To the right of the fireplace, there's a window with a dark wood frame overlooking a small green field. A gap in the pale cream curtains allows a glimpse of a tree branch, gently swaying in the cool breeze. The wall around the fireplace is decorated with clean magnolia paint, while the other three walls are covered in patterned wallpaper with embossed green and gold leaves. It's as though the greenery from outside is flowing inside filling the room with a sense of nature's calm. Elena enjoys feeling nature all around her as she patiently waits for the sound bath to begin. Recently, she read online that sound baths are becoming quite popular people. Lie down in a room and listen to different sounds to benefit health and well-being. When Elena read about it, she knew immediately that she wanted to try out this new experience. Everything she needs for the sound bath is already organized in the hallway nearby. She knows it won't be long before it's time to head off. But for now, she still has a few moments to rest and enjoy the quietness of the cottage. Nothing can be heard other than the gentle whistle of the wind outside and the flames crackling in the fireplace. It's such a soothing noise. Elena thinks, as the warmth from the fire wraps itself around her like a comforting embrace, she feels content and safe. Before long, Elena decides it's time to leave. She gets up from the sofa with a sense of anticipation. After putting out the fire, she goes into the hallway. Since it's chilly outside, Elena knows she'll need to wrap up warmly. 
She slips on her fur-lined boots and carefully wraps a thick scarf around her neck. Then, she puts on her purple quilted coat and slides a black leather glove onto each hand. Elena bends down to pick up her things for the sound bath. First, she grabs her exercise mat and uses the attached strap to hang it over her shoulder. Then, she picks up her pillow, her fleece blanket, and her eye mask. When she's ready, she leaves the house, locking the front door behind her, and heads towards her car. Opening the boot, she places her belongings inside. The hall where the sound bath is being held is just a short drive away, set within rolling hills. Elena already knows the route well. She starts her car and calls off the driveway, feeling as though she has left some of her worries and troubles behind. It is a beautiful, scenic journey even though it's getting dark. There is just enough light to see the delightful countryside. Elena follows the winding roads through the hilltops, with nothing but greenery all around her. The sun is setting on the horizon, offering a faint orange glow as it dips below the hills. Sheep graze happily on the grass on either side of the road, and leaves fall from the trees, swaying down to the ground. Only five minutes later, Elena arrives at her destination. She pulls into the spacious gravel car park, the small stones crunching under the wheels as she chooses a spot and turns off the engine. After stepping out of the car, she opens the boot to collect her belongings, carefully lifting each item out one by one before shutting the boot and locking the car. Then, she turns to face the hall. The building is made from light beige stone and has a pointed roof with a steeple towards the back. It seems as though this building is a converted church. Elena thinks to herself. There is a wooden arch door with a window above it, which might have once been stained glass, but has now been replaced with crystal clear glass. Elena walks across the car park, the stones crunching beneath her feet with every step, and heads towards the arch door. There's a sign on the door that reads, Welcome to this evening's relaxing sound bath. Elena whists the metal knob to the left, then pushes the door open and steps through. Inside is a large hall with wood and flooring and cream painted walls. Some of the church's original wooden beams stretch across the sloping ceiling. The curtains are drawn across all of the windows, and the space is dimly lit by the flicker of candles dotted around the room. The gentle heat produced by these flames creates an inviting warmth, which Elena feels as soon as she enters. In the center of the room are large gongs and other musical instruments, neatly laid out in a row. They are surrounded by fairy lights attached to a wire that weaves between the instruments. The glimmer from the lights reflects in the flooring below, with the awe twinkle catching Elena's eye, like a shining star in the night sky. Other things in the room awaken Elena's senses and help her to be present. Is that the scent of lavender? She knows that lavender possesses calming properties, and this thought makes her feel at ease immediately. Breathing in deeply, she carries her belongings across the room, looking for a place to set everything down so she's ready for the sound bath. Other attendees smile at her with kindness in their eyes, and Elena feels very comfortable she finds a free space to settle and lays down her mat, smoothing it out at the edges. Then, she places her pillow above the mat and sits down. Gradually, she lies down, 
letting her arms and legs fall out to the side and her head rest on the soft pillow it feels like a fluffy cloud. She then pulls her blanket over her and adjusts her and mask to ensure a complete sense of darkness. The sound practitioner greets everyone with a smile and advises them to make sure they are comfortable. She then walks to the light switch to dim the lighting further. Eleanor wriggles slightly to ensure her body is comfy on the mat. She then closes her eyes and pulls down her MS, remembering that this will help block out any distractions. The practitioner says that the sound bath is about to begin and will last for around an hour. Elena smiles at the thought of getting to relax for the next 60 minutes, or so there's nowhere else she needs to be and nothing she needs to do. The practitioner explains that sound baths are considered to be a form of healing. They're an ancient meditative practice that originated in Tibet some two, zero years ago. Sound baths have recently gained popularity, she says, and it's no wonder, with benefits like powerful relaxation, boosted mood, and lowered blood pressure. Some even describe it as a mind-emptying activity. Sound baths aim to envelop participants in meditative sound waves produced from a range of sources. These include singing bowls, gongs, chimes, and the human voice, making it possible to access deeper states of consciousness. There's no sound quite as relaxing as that of your own breath, says the practitioner. Your breath is your anchor. She then asks everyone to focus on their breath. She advises them to inhale deeply, breathing in a feeling of calm, and slowly exhale to release any remaining tension. Elena happily obliges. As she does this, she feels her muscles gradually loosening, and the busy outside world seems to fade away. She begins to drift in dream. After a minute, the practitioner gently hits one of the gongs with a mallet to signal the beginning of the sound bath. It produces a deep and resonant sound that reverberates through the room. The sound vibrations continue for a while before gradually fading away, before the noise completely disappears. The sound of wind chimes fills the air, their delicate tinkling bringing serenity with it. The hum of the gong returns as a soft backdrop to the wind chimes. The combination of these sounds is pleasant and soothing, and as Elena tunes into them, they transport her into a deeper state of relaxation and calm. Her limbs begin to feel weightless, almost as if they are floating. A new noise emerges, which sounds like waves crashing onto the seashore. It's produced by something called an ocean drum, a round percussion instrument hedged with a frame. Inside the drum are metal beads of shot, and by gently tilting it back and forth, the practitioner recreates the soothing sound of the sea. With her eyes closed, Elena imagines herself lying on a sandy beach with waves lapping gently at her feet. The sound is so realistic that Elena feels as though she's actually there. Her thoughts drift away from her surroundings, as she lets go of any conscious effort to analyze or think about the sounds. Instead, she simply listens. Elena feels herself becoming more and more relaxed. As each sound washes over her like a wave, she notices the rhythm of her breath as it aligns with the sounds. Each inhale and exhale carries her deeper into a meditative state, where thoughts slow down and worries fade. Elena becomes part of the soothing sound bath experience her body and mind deeply relax. The practitioner now introduces a singing bowl, 
gently circling its edge with a wooden mallet. The bowl produces a rich, resonant tone that fills the room. This deep hum is complemented by the subtle twinkling of bells, which seem to dance around the room like little drops of water. Together, the sounds create a soothing and harmonious symphony. Elena feels as though she is being enveloped by the warmth of the sounds, as if they are wrapping around her like a comforting blanket. The singing bowl's resonant tone gradually fades away, and the sound of the ocean drum returns. This time, the practitioner tilts it more quickly, producing the sound of waves crashing more energetically onto the floor. Elena imagines herself walking along the beach, the cools and beneath her feet, and the salty breeze in her hair. The sound of the waves is so vivid that she can almost feel the spray of the ocean on her face. As the sound fades, Elena is left with a deep sense of calm and serenity. As the sound bath continues, Elena feels herself drifting closer to sleep. Her breathing becomes slower and more even, and her muscles are completely relaxed. The sounds gradually soften until they fade into silence. The silence is profound, a deep stillness that wraps itself around Elena, allowing her to drift even further into sleep. Her body feels completely at ease, and her mind is clear and calm. The sound bath comes to a gentle end as the practitioner slowly brings the sounds to a close. The lights are still dim, and the room is filled with a deep sense of peace. Elena remains lying on her mat, eyes still closed, feeling the warmth of the blanket trapped around her and the softness of the pillow beneath her head. She feels deeply relaxed, as though she could stay in this moment forever. Elena smiles softly to herself, feeling grateful for this serene experience. Noah's soft voice returns, guiding Elena back to the present moment. He invites her to take a deep breath and slowly open her eyes when she is ready. Elena follows his instructions, feeling a sense of calm and relaxation as she does so. Noah encourages everyone to take their time and move slowly as they prepare to leave. Elena feels completely refreshed and rejuvenated, ready to take on the rest of her day with a sense of peace and calm. As Elena gathers her things and prepares to leave, she feels a deep sense of gratitude for this experience. She knows she will carry this feeling of calm with her as she leaves the hall and heads back into the world. As she steps outside into the cool evening air, she takes a deep breath, feeling the cool breeze on her face. She smiles to herself feeling completely at peace. Elena is grateful for this moment of stillness and serenity. Elena drives home, feeling the effects of the sound bath still with her. The journey is quiet and peaceful, with nothing but the sound of the wind outside and the gentle hum of the engine. As she pulls into her driveway and turns off the engine, she feels a deep sense of contentment. Elena is ready for a peaceful night's sleep, and she knows she will carry the calm and serenity of the sound bath with her as she drifts off to sleep. She heads inside, ready to settle down for the night. As she climbs into bed and pulls the covers over her, she feels completely relaxed and at peace. Elena closes her eyes and drifts off into a deep, restful sleep, filled with dreams of the soothing sound bath and the peace it brought her. Thanks for joining me on this calming journey tonight. I hope you enjoyed the sound bath experience and that it brought you a sense of peace and relaxation. As always, 
I wish you a peaceful night's sleep, sweet dreams, and I'll see you next time on Cozy Noah Vibes.